Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Foodish Beauty. If you're new, my name is TJ and I upload weekly beauty and lifestyle videos. So if these are the videos you love to watch, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button and you would absolutely make my day. So first of all, onto this week's video, I would like to apologize for my regular viewers uh, for missing my Friday night usual uploading schedule because I had been ill for the entire week with a rotten cold. But thankfully I'm well enough to film today and to make it up, I'm going to have a video up uh, on Monday night so as you're watching this right now as well as going back to my usual Friday night schedule so there'll be two videos up this week hopefully and also today's video is going to be super exciting because it concerns everything about my favorite American brand that is Colourpop because Colourpop will be launching their worldwide shipping tomorrow except China and Turkey Colourpop will be shipping everywhere in the world and that is so exciting. So I spent the past couple of days looking into all of my Colourpop collection, hand picking every single one of my favourites to show you guys in time for tomorrow's worldwide shipping launch. Now first of all just a very brief introduction to Colourpop as a company as well as their products. If you've never ordered from them before or indeed if you've never heard of them, they are a cosmetic company that is based in LA and all of their products are currently made in LA which is very unique. They're very famous for their Super Shock eyeshadows that has a cushiony gel-like formula that is super pigmented and very long-lasting. They're also very famous for their now full range of matte and satin liquid lipsticks. Other than those two prominent groups of products, they also do products such as highlights, bronzers, um, contour sticks and lippy sticks which is their version of a lipstick. So this brand does have a wide range of products and they all retail at round about between $5 and $8 which is amazing price. And also I will put a disclaimer out there just to say I purchased all of the, my products myself. I collected them over the past two years and the only way I was able to get hold of them was because my hubby does work out in the US quite often. Um, but which is why it's so exciting now they will be doing worldwide shipping as of 12th of July. So to start with I have 17 of their Super Shock eyeshadows for you guys. I told you I had a lot. These eyeshadows are either in a metallic or a pearlized finish. I think these two are definitely my favourite finishes, eyeshadow finishes from Colourpop because they are so so unique. They're super super pigmented and very long lasting. The metallics usually have quite a bit of glitter, micro glitter running throughout them, make them really really pop and then the pearlized finishes, they have more of a metallic finish but definitely no shimmer whatsoever, no glitter in there. So yes, the first group I want to tell you guys about is the champagne and the rose gold group. Starting from light to dark, the first shade we have is I Heart This, which is a beautiful light champagne with a metallic finish. And then we have a Maze, which is a true rose gold, and this is a metallic finish too. And then we have Sequin, this is a very shimmery copper, also in a metallic finish. And the last one in the champagne and rose gold group is called Kathleen Lights, and this is the collaboration Colourpop did with the huge beauty YouTuber Kathleen Lights. And it is in a pearlized finish, it's a shimmery, metallic-y, coppery bronze. Next we're moving on to the bronze group as well as one bonus olive colour I'll be throwing in. All four of the shadows in this group has a metallic finish. To start with we have Blaze. This is my go-to everyday favourite shimmery bronze. After that we have On The Rocks which is a deeper metallic bronze without any shimmer. Now on to the most metallic bronze shade I have in my entire makeup collection and this is the shade Nilinaire. If you're a shimmery bronzy eyeshadow fan like me and you only want to get one thing from Colourpop then I suggest it be this because this is seriously metallic, seriously pigmented, you can't go wrong. Final bonus olive shade in the group is called Midnight and this is more of an enriched olive shade. It does have a lot of bronze and gold micro glitter running throughout it which is why I include it in this group. Now this next group of four eyeshadows are very dear to my heart because they're all slightly duochromed and they have a lot of different dimensions to them, makes them very unique and very beautiful. The first one we have is a So Quiche. This is a unique olive bronze with lots of lilac and silver glitter running throughout it. Second one along we have Cricut which is a beautiful silvery dusty purple with lots of micro glitter running throughout it again. Next we have a shade called DGAF and this is such a unique colour. It has more of a reddish terracotta undertone but the shimmer going throughout it makes it such a unique shade. You have to witness in person to believe how wonderful this shade is. 
Now so far all three of these shades are in a metallic finish and then on to the final pearlized finish eyeshadow which is called Partridge and this is more of a dupe for Max Blue Brown. It's that deep brown colour that has more of a green blue shift to it and it is in a pearlized finish as I said so there's no glitter running through it. The last group of eyeshadows are either blue or green with a couple of enriched blacks thrown in. The first one we have is Crinkle. This is what I have on the centre of my lids and it's one of my all-time favourite eyeshadows from Colourpop. It's a very beautiful metallic ocean blue. Following that we have Coconut which is a metallic peacock blue in a pearlized finish. This next shade is called Too Shy and this is a pressed pigment and it is a very shimmery periwinkle colour with multicoloured micro shimmer. And then I have two of Colourpop's enriched black shades. If you're someone who's into that really metallic-y, shimmery, black, smoky eye look, then you definitely need to check out these shades. First one I have is Rex. This is a metallic finish and it is an enriched black with lots of shimmery purple glitter. Finally, I have Frisky, which is another metallic black with tons of silvery blue shimmer. Moving on to their highlighters, which also have a gel-like cream formula, I have three of my favourites here to show you. Starting from the top, the first one I have is Stole the Show. This is a beautiful white gold. Following that, I have a pale peach champagne colour, and that is Smoke and Whistle. The final one I have is a silvery lavender, and this is called Hippo. These are all in the pearlized formula, so there is no visible glitter in them. Now, if you're a regular viewer on my channel or you follow me on Snapchat, then you will know this next group of products is definitely very dear to my heart, and I'm talking about the ColourPop Ultra Satin and Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now, this was definitely the hardest thing to do to narrow all of these down to just five of my top picks, because I do have over 30 of them, and if you want to see a separate swatch and review video for all of my ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks, then please give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment to let me know. But but for now, these are my current top 5 favourite liquid lipsticks from Colourpop. The Ultra Matte formula does have a very dry and matte finish, so if you're not used to that kind of finish, you might find it hard to get on with, but you can easily correct that with a layer of lip balm underneath. I would say these are some of my all-time favourite liquid lipsticks, and at $6 each, you really can't go wrong. Now onto the actual liquid lipsticks, the first one up is called Chi, and this is a beautiful beige nude, and it is what I'm wearing right now on my lips. I can't live without this shade. Next I have Instigator, which is another ultra matte finish, and this is a beautiful peachy nude. It does go on pretty neon, but it will dry down a couple of shades darker, and it will turn out to be a beautiful peachy nude. For the ultimate greyish lip, I chose the shade Mess Around. This is a grey-brown, so it's not too grey and it's not too brown, and it definitely is a very trendy shade. And this is in the Ultra Satin finish. Following the greyish line, but much more on the lavender side, this is the shade Marshmallow, and it is in an Ultra Satin lip finish. And lastly, if you're looking for the perfect brown lip shade, but don't want anything too dark or over the top, then I recommend the shade Tansy. This is another ultra satin lip finish. It's just the perfect brown. So there was all of the liquid lipsticks, but I also have another group of favourite lip products from Colourpop, and those are the Colourpop Matte X Lippy Sticks. But I've just done a very recent swatch and review video on them, so I'll leave the link right here so you can go and click on that and watch a very detailed video on them. Also, I've done lots of Colourpop hauls and review videos over the past two years, so I'll leave a playlist link right here, just right here in the information bar, so you can definitely click on that and choose the videos you want to watch too. And excitingly, I have ordered some more Colourpop metallic liquid lipsticks, which I'm hoping to review for you guys very soon as well. So please don't forget to check back in and see when that video will be up. So that marks the end of this epic Best of Colourpop video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have, then please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And also, please don't forget to leave me a comment regards to any of the products I mentioned or if you have any questions at all about Colourpop cosmetics. And I'd always try my best to get back to you and answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Please also do follow me on all other social media platforms under the name Foodish Beauty so we can chat a little further about beauty, travel, fashion and food. So take care my friends and I'll see you on Friday. Bye!